Hey now YouTube, Joy brings it, back again, Callie. You know, I was here at work, might as well make another video. I had just made my video, my YouTube Hall of Fame response video. So I said, what the heck, might as well just make another video. Um, this one is gonna be more of the things that we love to show here on YouTube. More of my collection, more of my autographs. Cards that are gonna go now into, I guess it's gonna be the March submissions. I have all of my January submissions coming in this week, next week. Stay tuned for those videos. These are gonna be more cards. These are gonna be kinda of like crossovers. I'll show you once I start um, exhibiting the cards. But this, this, we're here because we love the hobby and we wanna see cards. So, baseball cards, vintage cards, autograph cards, PSA DNA graded cards, all day long, every day, twice a Sunday. Joy brings it, here we go. All right, guys. So first up, card that I'm gonna show. More of what I love, what's near and dear to my heart. 1953 Bowman color. Check this card out, guys. Hall of Famer, Eddie Matthews autograph. Woo! In that Braves uniform, Milwaukee Braves, old school. Love that flannel. But more importantly, look at the card, man. Beautiful. Look at that Eddie Matthews autograph. Man, 100%, this is going to grade well. I'm hoping a gem mint 10, you know, maybe a 9, but I'm, I have my fingers crossed that it's going to be a 10. These now, you know, more confusion to a lot of us guys, but these, you can say, why are you sending them in to get graded? These are PSA DNA Blue Flip. They are just certifying that the autograph is authentic. But those of you who watch my videos know that I'm starting the 1953 Bowman Color autograph set on the registry. So in order to be on the PSA uh, registry, the cards need to have a numerical grade. So this card obviously does not have a numerical grade. It just has an authentic. So in order to, you know, to add it, I have to grade it. But PSA is the best. They only charge you $10 to send these cards in to get graded because they're already authenticated. So I'm going to get the brand new dual service red flip lighthouse holder with the auto grade, hopefully a 10 for 10 bucks. You cannot get any better than that. It's going to look wonderful. This is one of the prized cards in my collection. Check that out, guys. Look at the centering. Look at the imagery, the photography. 100% vintage Bowman all day long. Eddie Matthews, one of the greats of all time. One of my favorite cards, guys. So that one's going to PSA in the March submission. Keeping up with the cards that I love that are going to go into my registry. Check this one out. Washington Senators, man, 1953 Bowman color. Mr. Jackie Jensen. Now this is an old time autograph, ballpoint pen. This one is not gonna grade a gem in 10. Probably gonna grade an eight or a nine. If I'm lucky, a nine, it goes off the card, but otherwise it's a nice, nice signature. Um, I think that the graders at PSA, they know what they're doing. I'm almost 100% sure that they're going to understand that cards like this, obviously not this one, but cards like this that are uh, signed in the ballpoint pen, they are, some of them are going to grade gem in 10 because that's the best that the card can get with the ballpoint. I mean, if it's firm, if it's clear, if it's clean, if it's crisp. Um, I don't know. I've, I've yet to receive my first submission, so I'm not 100% sure, 99% sure that the graders at PSA know what they are looking at. This one's hopefully is going to grade a 9 because it's a beauty 
other than the fact that right here at the end, it goes off the card. So I'm saying a nine, but man, that's a vintage card. Look at that flannel uh, Washington Senators uniform. This is a tough card to find graded. You do not find very many of these. So even though I saw that the autograph went off the card, hey man, I'm jumping all over a card like this. Again, just gonna add on the grade for 10 bucks, but it's gonna be in the brand new dual service holder. The red one with the with the lighthouse uh, sticker on the top. Man, that's so awesome. I can't wait to get it back. This is a card. I'm sure you guys remember seeing it on my past Brooklyn Dodgers Boys of Summer collection videos from the past. Check this out. Man, screams vintage all day long. 1953 Bowman color. George Shotgun Shuba. Very nice card. Again, a difficult card to find autograph. You can find these all day long on the reprints. They're, you know, reprints aren't really worth a whole lot. So you find these autographs really cheap, plentiful, any day of the week on eBay. But on the reprints, try to find this on an original 53 Bowman. Impossible. And what I love about this one, not only is it pretty good George Shuba autograph, he inscribed it with his nickname in the chicken marks, parentheses, shotgun. George Shuba, man, look at the way he chokes up on that bat. You don't see that anymore, man. Awesome, old school vintage. Hey, who needs batting gloves? Who needs, you know, a helmet? Show me the bat. Let me let me get into the batter's box, and I'm gonna hit that ball up the middle. I'm just gonna slap it right by the pitcher, man. Old school. So let's see what else do I have here. Another 53 Bowman color, Don Lenhart. You know, not as famous as these other three guys, but hey, he's a professional baseball player from the 50s. St. Louis Browns. You know, some of you are going to say, St. Louis Browns, what the heck? Do your research, guys. St. Louis, back in the 50s, their team was called the Browns. Look at that old school flannel jersey. I love these flannel jerseys. If I were a millionaire, I would collect these old time jerseys from all the best players. Um, what's that one show that used to come on TV? The it, it was the flannel gray flannel auctions or something like that. They still do auctions and they had an actual had actually had a little running TV show like a reality show that lasted I don't know maybe six months. But that's what it reminds me. I think it's gray flannel auctions. I don't know. Look it up on eBay. You'll find it. If I were a rich guy, you know, I think I would get these kind of jerseys, man. The authentic ones. But out of my price range, that's okay. I got the cards. And the last card from my 53 Bowman color. Check this one out, guys. This is a beauty. I cannot wait to grade it. I'm pretty sure that this one... It's going to go to the dual service, and it's going to go dual. Joey brings it PSA DNA set registries. This one, Robin Robert, Roberts. Phillies is going to go to both sets. It's going to go to my 1953 Bowman Color autograph set and my baseball Hall of Fame autographs. Check out that autograph, man. Bold blue Sharpie. That looks pretty good to me, man. I'm thinking the gem mint. Man, I haven't seen one better than that. It's a little thick, but it's perfect. I'm really, really hoping this one will garner um, the gem mint 10. It's only 10 bucks to see. The worst it's gonna do is a nine, but if it can get a 10, imagine just slipping that into both set registries. My 53 Bowman autograph set and my baseball hall of fame, uh, set on the PSA DNA side. Man, Rapid Robin uh, Roberts, a classic, classic card. Look at that profile picture. The Bowman photography is just amazing from the 53 set. I love it. Okay, what other cards am I gonna be sending in to get crossed over or 
just regraded. You know, since these cards are, are already in that PSA blue flip, it's only 10 bucks to switch them over. You get a brand new sharp clean case with the red flip, light house holder, but graded. I cannot wait. Dual service just rocks. Check this out. 1973 tops rookie hall of famer the goose man blue sharpie signature hall of famer i love this guy man i wish i could collect every single one of his cards but i just don't have the budget to do it but i have enough to get this rookie card uh, autograph check that out pretty pretty good rich gossage uh, signature is it going to get a gem mint? I don't know. It's going to be a close one. If there were a 9.5, it might get a 9.5. It's going to be close. It's going to see. I'm going to be at the mercy of the PSA grader that day. But regardless, it's going to get slabbed in the new dual service red flip. And I'm going to be able to post this into whatever registry I want. My Hall of Famers, my post-war uh, rookies, my Hall of Fame pitchers, whatever in the heck I want, as long as it's graded, not just authenticated, but graded, it will be able to be put and posted into any of my sets. The Goose. Next card up that's gonna get graded, another PSA DNA rookie, Hall of Famer, authenticated card. Carlton Fisk. Check that out. With the 73 AL Rookie of the Year inscription. Carlton Fisk Rookie. Very, very nice card. Sharp, sharp Carlton Fisk autograph. Now this one is the kind of card that, again, borderline. But I have seen, you know, I, I'm always looking, I'm always searching. And what I've noticed is that PSA DNA, they especially love these thin Sharpie autographs. They tend to give these ones a gem mint tens and they're a little biased or they go against when they're the thick Sharpie that are not as crisp. Watch, look at the difference. That one's a bold, it's a little thicker. And look at the difference on this one, crisp, thin pen. What I've been noticing, a lot of the brand new Gem and Tens are this style. You know, I'm hoping this one will fit the bill. It's a nice card, I've had it forever. One of my favorite catchers of all time, Carlton Fisk. I cannot wait, I love the inscription. 72 AL Rookie of the Year. I cannot wait to get it back. And the brand new red flip holder gonna look sweet continuing with the Hall of Fame autographs check this guy out Whitey Herzog 1957 tops autograph let me see is it I'm pretty sure this is his rookie rookie very first season with Washington 1956 so Whitey Herzog Hall of Famer rookie card you know when i can afford it i would much rather get a card when he's a player instead of a manager i don't know i just they're not my favorite type cards when they're already old in the man manager um picture like take for instance tommy lasorda i so love my 1954 tops tommy lasorda card when he's a player same thing with the joe torrey i love the 62 tops joe torrey when he's a catcher with the braves not necessarily when he's an old guy you know that's my opinion that's the way i collect let's get rid of this commercial that's what i like and this one fits the bill 100 percent he's a player that's what it's all about and he became a hall of fame manager but check out that autograph damn i got 20 bucks in my pocket again all day long that's gonna grade a 10 I cannot wait. It's going to come back with the brand new red flip holder. Gem Mint 10 autograph. I'm going to put that into my Hall of Fame um, set registry. If I want, I can start a Hall of Fame manager registry with that card. Whatever I want, as long as it has that auto grade. And for 10 bucks, cannot go wrong. Okay, a couple more cards here, guys. 
Let's keep going, showing what we love here, what I love, what I collect. From my first childhood complete top sets that my dad bought me when I was 10 years old, 1979 tops, Pete Rose autograph, Hall of Famer. These are my favorite cards. The ones I started grow when I grew up. These are the cards that um, that I started collecting. Look at that with the NL All Star emblem. I especially love the cards that either in football, the ones that have the All Pro, and in baseball, the ones that have the All Star logos on them. My favorites. Look at that action shot of Pete Rose. I'm telling you guys, he is gonna get into the Hall, whether it's soon. Whether it's later when he passes, he is going to the hall. There's no doubt about it. He belongs. I mean, you got a bunch of, in my opinion, I don't know, I'm kind of biased. How can you have guys, in my opinion, like, I mean, not to bag on these guys, but it's just the way I feel. How can you have guys like Craig Biggio and Alan Trammell and those kind of guys in the Hall of Fame and you cannot have Pete Rose? Makes no sense whatsoever. You know, there's no way in the world Bobby Bonds shouldn't be, uh, not Bobby Bonds, Barry Bonds shouldn't be in the um, Hall of Fame. Pete Rose should be in the Hall of Fame. Not the nicest guy in the world, but hey, neither was Ty Cobb. This guy needs to be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, stop inducting so many guys that, in my opinion, have there should, there should be two halls, the Hall of Fame and the Hall of Pretty Damn Good Baseball Players. Pete Rose deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. The aforementioned guys maybe in the hall are pretty good baseball players. I don't know. My opinion, my two cents. You guys don't agree with it, you know. Give me a thumbs down. There's one crazy guy on YouTube that I swear, and I know it's the same guy. Every single video of all of my buddies on here, ask Mike, uh, baseball collector. There's one guy on here that keeps putting a thumbs down to everyone's video. Every video that we post, it's awesome content great videos they're heartfelt we're giving it our best and there's always one thumbs down it's one little turd that keeps doing it man so let's keep up with the pete rose submissions that are going to get crossed and graded check this one out from my favorite set you know what i think this is the first video where i'm going to be able to compare i always say 1975 sspc Beautiful, modern, affordable set from 75. It's vintage, man. Mid-70s. Reminiscent of the 53 Bowman color set. Only the photograph. Nothing else to distract. Vintage shots. Most of them are portraits. Just like the Bowman. Check this out. I think this is going to be the first time I'm going to be able to put them back to back. Side by side, check that out. What's cool about these, you know, there's nothing on the front of the card. There's no what's their name, there's no position, there's no team. Hey, the uniform tells you what team they are. If you're buying baseball cards, whether it be in the 50s or in the 70s, believe me, you know who these guys are. You don't need to have their name on the front. It's all about the picture. It's all about the photography. Check out these two cards. The Bowman is a little bit larger. It's a little bit longer. But man, if you do not have the budget to be buying 53 Bowman colors, why don't you guys look in to the 75 SSPCs? Check out my previous videos, man. I've shown all kinds of cards. I have an actual 75 SSPC specific dedicated video. And during my last PSA previews, you know, I've shown you the Don Sutton, the Robin Yount. What else have I shown you? The Willie Randolph, the Nolan Ryan. I've shown you guys, I don't know, the Dennis Eckersley rookie. Check out those SSPC cards. I'm sure you guys are gonna love them. Very affordable and just gorgeous cards. Like I've always said, reminiscent of the 1953 Bowman colors. Last two cards that I'm gonna send in for 10 bucks to get into those new slabs and to get that PSA grade. Check this one out. One of my favorite little specialty sets. 1971 Dell. Today's team stamps, Pete Rose. Autographed. 
This is a very peculiar size card. It's smaller than the regular Topps card. Small, about the size of like the Hostess cards from the 70s, the Kellogg's cards from the 70s. But again, I love these cards. All about the photograph. And this one has an autograph. Pete Rose, Gem Mint, 10. All day long. I know it's going to be able to get that grade. Look at that autograph. Let's get the last song so we can finish off this video. How many of you guys have seen these cards, man? There are some iconic cards from this set. No doubt about it. Let me see. Let me get the last soundtrack going. Again, my Wi-Fi is letting me down at the end, but it is what it is. So check out these 71 Dell cards. I'm telling you guys, very affordable cards. What's cool about these cards is you can get these like in the actual, um, you can get them in the actual booklets that they came in. Not very expensive at all. Let me see which one. Yeah, let's go there again. Pete Rose, future Hall of Famer. Check it out. Last card I'm gonna show you guys. Again, the way that I love to collect. Pete Rose, 1969. Decals, super mini card. Check that out with the Pete Rose autograph. Man, it does not get any better than that. This one, you know what? I had to get this one uh, re-slabbed anyways. This one came labeled incorrectly. It says stamps, but it's a 1969 Topps decals. So I was gonna have to do it anyway. It's gonna pay the 10 bucks. Gonna get that corrected. But more importantly, brand new slab, brand new holder with the red flip, lighthouse, and the auto grade. It's going to be a gem mint 10. I'm telling you, try to find one of these cards autographed. An impossibility. No way, man. I would be willing to bet anybody 100 bucks that you would not be able to find one of these in 30 days autographed, slabbed by PSA. Impossible. They don't exist. Try it. You got 20 minutes to waste looking on eBay? Try it, my friends. Impossible, man. These are 1969 decals autographed by Hall of Famer 2B Pete Rose. Impossible, man. Graded by PSA DNA Authentic. It will soon have a Jam Mint 10 auto grade. But guys, I hope you guys like looking at my collection. Put these over here. I'm gonna show one last little go through. My video's running long, as always. Hey man, the way I see it, the way I like to watch other guys, like Elite Co. 3, man, just put my video on in the background, man, while you're paying some bills, you know, where you're just in bed trying to fall asleep. Put on my videos, man, they'll put you to sleep. Check this out, Pete Rose. Pete Rose, look at that SSPC. 79 Tops Childhood Collection. Hall of Fame manager, Pudge, the baddest catcher in the 70s, aside from Johnny Bench. The Goose, he brought it. Man, how I wish when he was a rookie he had that mustache, that Fu Manchu, but that was a young Goose Gossage right there. Hopefully it'll get the gem in 10. But these are my trophies my cards that are near and dear to my heart. The 53 Bowman Color. Check them out one last time. Okay, guys. This video is going to be posted later on, so they might be out of sequence. But just remember, my January submissions are going to start rolling in. I got about four or five, six of them. This little bunch of cards right here are also going to be sent in. I don't know. The PSA DNA side well, autograph cards are coming in much faster than the regular graded cards. From what I'm hearing, the graded cards are taking three months. Um, 
the autograph cards are coming in one month. There's just not as many people submit the autographs because they're more expensive. But that's fine by me. I'll take the faster service. Okay, guys, I hope you guys like this little stroll through my collection. The next batch of cards that I'm sending to PSA to get graded one last time. The brand new Red Flip Dual Service Lighthouse Holder, man. Cannot wait, guys. I will for sure be posting reveal videos when these cards come in. Okay, guys, tell me what you guys think about the video. Do you guys like the cards? Are there any other kind of videos you guys want to see? Do you guys want, you know, I have cards. I've been sh showing a lot of the autograph cards. I'm weird like that. I'm That's the way I am. Take food, for instance, man. I'll get on a, on a Taco Bell kick, and I'll eat Taco Bell, like, in one month, like, ten times. And then I won't eat it for a year. Right now, I am on a kick of submitting nothing but my autographs. I'm sure I'll get tired of it, and... And I'll, you know, I'll get a nice PSA um, monthly collector special award, and I'll start sending in my regular cards. I got a, a fat stack of of cards, my uh, 300 great baseball cards by Mike Payne, that I'm going to be submitting raw. But that'll be later, maybe in the summer. Check this out, guys. Can't wait to get that one back. All right, guys. 26 minutes. Very cool. Long video. Joy brings it. Coming back at ya. Wishing you guys all the best. From Kelly. All right, guys. See ya. Later.